Welcome to the Using the Instructional Design Wizard demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Instructional Design Wizard to build a course with rich learning experiences that effectively support learners to meet their goals, student learning outcomes. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create a course blueprint, grade-based assessment shell, and objective-based assessment shell. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Edit Course link. Then, click the Instructional Design Wizard link. Pause this video and read over the instructions. This page gives you details on what you will need to know about your course before starting the wizard. You need to have the inputs. What do you need to start? Of your learning objectives and which activities in your course correspond with those learning objectives. The wizard will guide you through the workflow shown and you will get the wizard outputs as shown. When you are ready to continue, click the start button. The wizard has four steps. Define learning goals, choose activities, organize gradebook, and review course design. The first step, define learning goals, has four parts. List modules, list course competencies, list learning objectives, and define module objectives. In the first part of defining learning goals, list modules, click the add button to add your course modules. Type the title for each module, one module per line, in the modules text box. Example, Week 1, Week 2, Week 3, Week 4, Week 5. Then click the Add button. You can use the Reorder icon to reorder the modules, or the red X icon to delete the modules. At the bottom of each page, are the options to exit, save and exit, back, and next. Click the exit button to quit the wizard without saving it. Click the save and exit button to save the work you have completed and close the wizard. Use this option if you can't finish the wizard now and want to return to it later. Click the Back button to return to the previous page. Click the Next button to move on to the next page. In the second part of Define Learning Modules, List Course Competencies, click the Create button to add your course competencies. In the Name field, type the name of your competency. Example, Use ID Wizard. In the description text box, type what needs to be done to complete this competency. Example, complete define learning goals step. Complete choose activity step. Complete Organized Gradebook Step Complete Review Course Design Step Check the Visibility checkbox and click the Create button. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have listed all of your competencies. You can also use the Browse button to use competencies already built for your course. 
When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. In the third part of Define Learning Goals, List Learning Objectives, click the Create button to add your course learning objectives. In the Name field, type the name of the learning objective. Example, Complete Define Learning Goals Step. In the Description text box, type what needs to be done to complete this learning objective. Example, list modules, list course competencies, list learning objectives, and define module objectives. Then click the Create button. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have listed all of your learning objectives. You can also use the Browse button to use learning objectives already built for your course. Click on the Classify button next to each objective to categorize the cognitive skill using the cognitive domain of Bloom's Taxonomy. Check the checkboxes next to each level of Bloom's Taxonomy the learner will be using. And then click on the Classify Learning Objective button. You will notice that the levels you selected are now lit up on the chart. In the Independent Learning Objectives section, you can complete the previous steps to add in learning objectives that don't count towards the competencies, but is something the learner will be able to do. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. In the fourth part of Define Learning Goals, Define Module Objectives, this is where you will attach the objectives you made to the places in your class where students complete those objectives. Click the Add button under each module to add your learning objectives. Check the checkbox next to the objectives that go with this module, and then click the Add Learning Objectives button. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have filled in each module. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. You are now in the second step of the Instructional Design Wizard, Choose Activities, which has two parts, Design Assessments and Design Content. In the first part of Choose Activities, Design Assessments. Click the Add button under each module to add your course assessments. In Step 1, check the learning objectives this assessment will assess. Notice that these are the ones we just placed into this week. In Step 2, check the type of approach you will use to assess this objective. In Step 3, check the type of assessment you will use to assess this objective. Then click the Add Activities button. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have filled in each module. Next, under each assessment from the Type drop-down menu, Choose the type of assessment you are using. Diagnostic is testing that occurs before instruction. A diagnostic assessment or pre-assessment often focuses on one area or domain of knowledge. Formative is typically embedded 
within the instructional process. A simplified but perhaps helpful way to think about formative assessment is that it is given during instruction. Formative assessment can be used to determine what needs or topics have to be addressed next with a student. Thumbative is typically given to learners after a specific point in instruction to measure their understanding of a subject. Some examples of summative assessments include standardized tests, midterms, and final exams. Summative assessments can also be used to check their mastery of a subject every few weeks or months. Then, from the Tool drop-down menu, choose the tool you will use to assess the objective. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have filled in each assessment. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. In the second part of Choose Activities, Design Content, click the Add button under each module to add your course content. In Step 1, check the learning objectives this content will teach. In Step 2, check the type of approach you will use to teach this objective. In Step 3, check the type of style you will use to teach this objective. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have filled in each module. Next, under each content from the Type drop-down menu, choose the type of content you are using. Learning resources are the main tools used to teach. Learning supports are the supplemental tools. Then. From the Tool drop-down menu, choose the tool you will use to teach the objective. Pause this demo and do this process over again until you have filled in each content. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. The third step, Organized Gradebook, has two parts. Choose Grading System and categorize grades. In the first part of Organized Gradebook, Choose Grading System. Click the Edit Grading System link to change the current grade system. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. In the second part of Organized Gradebook, Categorize Grades, click the drop-down menu to pick the category the assessment grade will fall under for each module assessment. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. The fourth step, Review Course Design, has two parts, Review Course Design and Finish. In the first part of Review Course Design, Review Course Design. Scroll down the page to review everything created with the wizard. If you need to make changes, click the Back button. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. In the second part of Review Course Design, Finish, review the items that will be created for your course blueprint. If you need to make changes, click the Back button. When you are ready to continue, click the Create Course Blueprint button. You have now successfully used the Instructional Design Wizard. The next step 
is to use the course build. For help on using the course builder tool, watch the using the course builder demo.